Have you ever wondered why we act the way we do? What's really behind our decisions and desires? Is it true freedom of choice or are we following hidden scripts shaped by society and our environment? Welcome to the Psycho Core channel. Here, we'll uncover the answers to these questions and share practical exercises to help you grow. Let's make a deal. If you find this video helpful, hit that subscribe button and leave a comment with a topic you'd like us to cover next. Deal? All right, let's dive in. Today, we're exploring the ideas of Alexei Leontiev, a psychologist who explained how our actions are shaped by the interplay of motives, goals, and circumstances. In this video, you'll learn what activity theory is and how it explains our behavior, how to uncover your true motives and avoid internal conflicts, why Leontiev's ideas are still relevant, even if they're not widely known. And at the end, we'll share practical tips for personal growth, building harmony in your relationships and understanding yourself better. Stick around until the end so you don't miss the most important part. Who is Alexei Leontiev? Alexei Leontiev is a name that, unfortunately, not everyone recognizes. But his ideas have the power to transform the way you see human behavior. Born in the Soviet Union, Leontiev was one of the most brilliant psychologists of his time and a student of the legendary Lev Vygotsky. But Leontiev didn't stop there. He developed activity theory, which explains why we do what we do. He showed that our actions are not just reactions to external circumstances, but a complex interplay of motives, goals, and conditions. Leontiev wasn't just a theorist. His research helped us understand how we learn, adapt, and grow. Today, his ideas are applied in many fields, from education to management, but why is he barely mentioned? Soviet censorship, his focus on theory over popularization, and fierce competition among ideas turned his work into a forgotten treasure. And today, we're unlocking this treasure together. How can his ideas help you better understand your actions, find harmony, and take control of your future? Let's dive into his life and views to uncover the answers. Activity Theory, The Basics Alexei Leontiev believed that none of our actions are random. Every action is a structured system made up of three levels, motives, actions, and operations. Understanding this structure helps us answer the key questions. Why do we act the way we do? And how are our decisions shaped by context? Motives, why am I doing this? At this level, we address the main question, what drives me to act? Motives define the ultimate goal of our activity. For example, you might work to earn money, a motive for financial stability, or to feel useful to society, a motive for self-fulfillment. Real life example. Imagine a student in university. If their motive is gaining knowledge, they'll eagerly read extra materials but if their motive is just earning a diploma, they're more likely to look for shortcuts to get it over with. Actions, what am I doing? These are specific goal-oriented steps we take to achieve a purpose driven by motives. Actions are a conscious process. Example, a student decides to pass an exam. Their actions include attending lectures, reviewing notes, and completing practice tests. Operations, how am I doing this? This is the lowest level of activity, often performed automatically. Operations depend on specific conditions and skills we've already mastered. Example, that same student while preparing for the exam might quickly jot down key facts, a mastered skill of fast writing or use special memorization techniques, like mnemonics. How do these levels interact? 
It's important to understand that activity always starts with motives. If the motive is weak or unclear, the entire system breaks down. Have you ever struggled to focus on a task because it seemed pointless? That's an example of how a lack of clear motives can disrupt our activity. How does this apply to your life? Leontiev's activity theory explains why we sometimes fail to achieve our goals or feel stuck. For instance, if a motive is not strong enough or is contradictory, we begin to doubt our actions. How to understand your true motives and avoid inner conflicts. We've all had moments when we feel torn inside. We want one thing, but end up doing something completely different. Why does this happen? Leontiev explained that the root cause lies in a mismatch between our motives, goals, and actions. Let's talk about how to understand what truly drives you, how to eliminate the contradictions between want and need, and which practical steps can help you avoid this. Why don't we understand our motives? Often, we confuse our true motives with what others expect from us. Leontiev called this borrowed motives. For example, someone might want to become a doctor, not because it's their calling, but because their parents wanted it for them. Life example. Imagine someone working at a prestigious job they dislike. They might achieve success, but deep down, they feel unfulfilled. Why? Their actions don't align with their true motives. How to find your true motives. Step one, ask yourself why you're doing what you're doing. The question, why, helps uncover deeper reasons. For example, why do I want this position? Is it truly my dream or just a way to impress others? Step two, analyze your emotions. Leontiev believed that positive emotions signal alignment between actions and motives. If something causes anxiety or stress, it's a sign that your actions and motives don't match. Step three, determine if your motives align with your values. If a motive doesn't resonate with your core principles, it won't bring long-term satisfaction. How to avoid inner conflicts. Set priorities. Identify the most important motives that align with your goals. Leave behind conflicting or unnecessary motives. Allow yourself to change direction. Sometimes we hold on to old goals that no longer matter. Revisiting your motives is a sign of maturity. Practice self-reflection. Write down what truly matters to you and compare it with your actions. Or example of a practice. Write down your main life goals. Next to them, list the actions you're currently taking. Analyze. Are these actions bringing you closer to your goals? What does understanding your motives give you? When you know what truly drives you, you. Avoid wasting time and energy on meaningless efforts. Feel fulfilled by your actions. Achieve harmony between your inner and outer world. Practical exercises for personal development and applying activity theory. We've explored the basics of Leontiev's activity theory and seen how it can be applied in different areas of life. But how do we use this knowledge daily? It's time to dive into practical exercises that will help you not only better understand your motives, but also harmonize your actions and goals. Exercise. Analyzing your motives. This exercise helps you uncover what truly drives you in key areas of life. Instructions. Take a sheet of paper and divide it into three columns. Life, area, actions, and motives. In the first column, list key areas of your life, work, relationships, hobbies. In the second column, write down the actions you take in these areas. In the third column, answer the question, why am I doing this? Analyze the results. Do your actions align with your true motives? 
Example, life area, work. Action, overachieving at work. Motive, I want to impress my boss. Or, I'm afraid of losing my job. If the motive doesn't bring satisfaction or contradicts your values, try to rethink your strategy. Exercise. Finding harmony between motives and goals. When our motives and goals are misaligned, it creates stress and frustration. Instructions. Write down one goal that you're struggling with. Learning a new language. Ask yourself, what's the motive behind this goal? If the motive seems weak, think about how you can adjust the goal or find a more inspiring motive. For example, goal, learning English. Motive, getting a new job. But this doesn't inspire you. New goal, making English-speaking friends and having conversations. Result. The goal becomes more appealing and it's easier to achieve. Exercise, resolving inner conflicts. Sometimes we face dilemmas where we can't decide between two opposing actions. Instructions. Write down the conflict that's bothering you, working on a new project or taking a vacation. Split a sheet into two parts, motive A and motive B. Describe what you'll gain by choosing each option. Find a compromise or decide which motive matters more to you. Example. Motive A. Working on the project equals career growth. Motive B, taking a vacation equals recharging. Compromise, finish part of the work. Then take a short break. Exercise, tracking automatic operations. Many of our actions happen at the level of operations without us thinking about whether they lead to our goals. Instructions. For one day, track your automatic actions, scrolling through social media, drinking coffee. At the end of the day, ask yourself, did this action help me achieve my goals? Replace one automatic operation with a conscious action. Example, instead of aimlessly scrolling social media during your lunch break, start reading a book or watching an educational video. Applying Leontiev's activity theory in daily life can help you uncover hidden motives, avoid inner conflicts, and align your actions with your goals. Each exercise is a small step toward a more conscious and meaningful life. Conclusions So, we've explored the legacy of Alexei Leontiev, his activity theory, and how to apply it in everyday life. We've learned that our actions depend on motives, goals, and circumstances, all of which we can control and adapt. Now that you know more about how your behavior works, it's time to take a step toward change. Start with simple practical exercises to better understand yourself. Analyze your motives and align them with your goals. Use this knowledge to avoid inner conflicts and improve your quality of life. If this video gave you new ideas or inspiration, Gestalt, don't forget to. Hit the subscribe button to get more content like this. Share your thoughts in the comments. Did you find the exercises helpful? Have you experienced inner conflicts that now seem clearer? Share this video with friends who are also interested in psychology and personal growth. Remember, your motives are the key to a conscious life. Use this knowledge to transform the world around you. Thank you for staying with us until the end, and see you in the next video.